All right, this is Jay Brody. It's the Sofa Beach session. Our guest today, so stoked. Just hit number one, Toronto's Woo! very own grandson. Here's the deal. You just hit number one, Dirty. Uh, how did you re- find out? How did you react? And how are you going to celebrate? I found out in bed Sunday morning, uh, did a little dance, called my, uh, called my, my parents who are back home in Toronto. And uh, I'm very, very grateful for, for you guys for playing it and for everybody for listening. And to everybody that must be super sick of this song by now, I also want to apologize to, and I want you to get used to it because uh, <laughs> I hope it's not done yet. Hopefully by the end of the year, we'll have a plan in place where I can finally come back and uh, get in front of you guys and play some rock and roll because uh, that's really been what's guiding me through this time is having that, that purpose that when this is all over, we're going to be able to take this album on the road. Uh, I also, I thought to myself, and this is a, this comparison kept coming up. Uh, and it's, at first it might sound strange because the genres are different, but your music reminds me, your, ta- your, your talent reminds me of Drake uh, in the sense that you have bars, but you can also sing. And there's a few instances in Death of an Optimist where you do both at the same time. And we haven't seen that in Toronto since Drake started. Look, man, don't gas me up right now. Don't, don't come. I got bars, dude. If you want to <laughs> go there, we can talk bars. No, um, thank you. You know, I, I, I'm from Toronto, man. Of course I'm influenced by Drake. Both my sisters went to school with Drake. Shouts out Vaughn Road Academy. Shouts out Forest Hill. Yes. Um, and so that was always an influence on me growing up. J. Cole, uh, Mac Miller, other artists that, that have some singing as well. For me, I obviously take that in a very different direction. But, you know, that's what, to me, alternative is about. You know, that's I'm not fitting in one box all the time. I, I really do want to explore the intersection of hip hop, of rock and roll, of electronic music, because that's the stuff that I loved as a kid that I love as a music fan. So fans just got to be patient with me because, you know, sometimes I, I'm going to take it to a place that they didn't feel like going that day. If I feel like doing an acoustic folk song or, or a song like world war three on the album, which is, you know, straight hip hop. But um, yeah. that's the stuff that, that gives me a purpose to keep going now that the debut album's out. And I've been doing this for a couple of years. I got to find ways to, to constantly change it and, and grow. Hopefully other people agree with that. Well, that's the thing too, like listening to a, an interview you did before talking about how you came up uh, and there was a period in your time where you were doing rap music and dropping bars and someone told you uh, that if you can't be the best, you either, you either want, you, you wanted to work with someone who's going to be the best or first, right? That's right. I had a song on Flow 93.5 at one point, like their, their, their fan submitted late night. That was my, that was the pinnacle of my hip hop career. I had a, a fan uploaded thing on like the Toronto hip hop station, but it just wasn't, you know, I, I couldn't find that, that next level to it. And I knew that it was out there. And, and when I was honest with myself, I really do still believe there's just another gear to what I, I have the ability to do and the change that we have the ability to make when you have great music and a, and a community around you motivating you, you can do anything. I really do believe that I, I'm a testament to, to that kind of attitude. So, um, yeah, I, but like, of course, Toronto hip hop, Cardinal official, like, Yes, I go. It goes, man. I'm I'm the youngest sibling of of two hip hop heads. So so Shad, that, I hit up Shad on Instagram. <laughs> I shot him a message. I go, dude. There's no way you know who I am, but I can't tell you how influenced I was by you growing up. So classified. I love Canadian hip hop. Don't get me started. Man. And listen, like my career depends on you continuing to make amazing alt rock tracks. Okay. So I don't mean I I I, I my, I'm personally interested and invested in that, but when I heard I think it was World War Three, uh, a few verses you dropped and how it transitioned into the hook, which was singing, I thought about that interview where they said, "Well, he, you know, you can't be the best." And I was like, "Well, maybe that's not right," and I, I do wow. believe that. Oh, Jay, uh, you're you're making listen, me, you're making me blush. For the love of God, please don't listen to me, though. Uh, we need more yeah, when number I spend one. <laughs> my album to advance on Socrates features. Uh, Shout out to I'll Socrates, though. What was that? 
Shout outs to soccer. Yeah, though, shout, for out. Sure. shout outs out. Shout yeah. out to North, baby. No, for yeah. real. I, I am a very much a product of Canadian hip hop and Canadian rock and roll. And I'm going to keep doing alternative music. It's the only thing I know how to do, but I'm always going to try and surprise people. And uh, I feel very, very, very lucky today. So thank you. Um, so you're going to bless us with some live music uh, right now. Yeah, I'm going to play a song called Apologize. It's a song I wrote. Um, while I was kind of figuring out who I was as grandson and, and making choices that I'm scared of letting people down. And, and I knew that I had to let go of that in order to, uh, in order to become who I was going to be. And hopefully some of you can relate to that. This is called apologize. Ready? bit of myself with every selfie lose sleep up but well this not healthy finding a new religion on yelp to come help me praying to the label itself do not shelf me i'm in the middle with the beggars and rejects reading between texts with weed liquor and sex she says she loved me at dusk but at dawn i pack up my things and i'm gone yeah I don't know where I'm gonna go, but I don't care, I'm on the road. Never been a perfect soul, but I will not apologize. I've been a lot of places in this life, and I did a lot wrong that I can't make right. Never been a perfect soul, but I will not apologize. I said I will not apologize. I'm imperfect. I'm imperfect. No roadmap, getting lost on purpose. Phone, no service, but it's clear I'll hear. I'm living with nothing to fear I'll hear. There's lessons you learn, bridges you burn, all for the cost of a dollar to earn. And they said they love me at dusk, but at dawn, I pack up my things and now I'm gone. Yeah. I don't know where I'm gonna go, but I don't care, I'm on the road. Never been a perfect soul, but I will not apologize. I've been a lot of places in this life, and I did a lot wrong that I can't make right. Never been a perfect soul, but I will not apologize. I will not, no, I will not, I will not apologize. I will not, no, I will not, I will not apologize. <laughs> Said I will not uh, apologize. I don't know where I'm gonna go. But I don't care cause I'm on the road Never been a perfect soul But I will not apologize I've been a lot of places in this life And I did a lot wrong that I can't make right Never been a perfect soul But I will not apologize I will not, no, I will not I will not apologize I will not, no, I will not I will not apologize I will not, no, I will not, I will not apologize. Said I will not apologize. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, dude. Tremendous. Thanks for having me. I'm very stoked to be, uh, it's nice to connect with you and, uh, you know, especially celebrating off of uh, your number one record designation here in Canada. So this is awesome. Dude, um, it means so much. And, and again, like I go around the whole world. I've played shows in places like Moscow and Berlin and nothing makes me more proud than, than being able to, to claim Canada. And uh, I can't wait to come back and uh, I, I can't wait to, to do some more shows and, and, and make a whole lot more music uh, and carry the city with me, man. Canadian rock is back and it's right yeah. here on the edge. Yes. Um, all right. So can I play what one are, more song? What are we doing? Let's 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 I, let's do it. Let's do this. What's Let uh, what's let's, let's let's do the hit, right? This let's is the do it. One. Let's do the hit. This is my song "Dirty" off my new album "Death of an Optimist." And uh, thank you again for listening and supporting. Let's do this thing. One, two, one, two, three. Is it? 
Time to lead or is it time to die? Time to raise hello, I'll come by. Is there anybody out there that's paying attention? Yeah. Is it time to speak up or time for silence? Time for peace or is it time for violence? Is there anybody out there that's paying attention? Yeah, yeah. Tell me what you're trying to hide. What you're running from inside. Cause I got a surprise. We might not make it to the morning. So go on and tell me now. Do you have enough love in your heart? So go and get your hands dirty. It isn't that much, but it's a good start. So go and get your hands dirty. Do you love your neighbor? Is it in your nature? Do you love a sunset? Aren't you fed up yet? Do you have enough love in your heart? So go and get your hands dirty. I got a skeleton under the floorboard. I got a secret I need you to keep. Run away, run away, you have been forewarned. I don't want to go off in the deep. If we don't do something, we'll be stuck up in the mud again. Don't want to mess it up, because I want everything or nothing at all. I got a feeling one day walking on the ceiling that the people needed healing one and all. What you trying to hide? What you running from inside? Cause I got a surprise. We might not make it to the morning. So go on and tell me now. Do you have enough love in your heart? To go and get your hands dirty. It isn't that much, but it's a good start. So go and get your hands dirty. Woo! Do you love your neighbor? Is it in your nature? Do you love a sunset? Aren't you fed up yet? Do you have enough love in your heart? So go and get your hands dirty. Is there anybody out there that's paying attention? Is there anybody out there that's paying attention? Is there anybody out there that's paying attention? Is there anybody out there? Woo! So go on and tell me now. Do you have enough love in your heart? To go and get your hands dirty. It isn't that much, but it's a good start. So go and get your hands dirty. Uh. Do you love your neighbor? Is it in your nature? Do you love a sunset? Aren't you fed up yet? Do you have enough love in your heart? To go and get your hands dirty. Oh, the number one rock uh, record in the country. That's Dirty Grandson. Yes. <laughs> yes. One of, the, one of the craziest stories I've read about you was how you had your, your old label dropped you right before Bloodwater was released. Yes. One of the biggest tracks of that year. Uh, you, you heard it in video games. You heard it everywhere. And you get to this point in your career where it, it seems like you, you sign a, a record deal, you're just about to make it, you're working with people, and then it kind of falls apart. What was that like? And how did you deal with that? You, you, you're obviously, listen, you got the number one rock song in the country now. Oh, uh, what did you go through in that in the meantime? Oh, man, this is this is so important. It doesn't matter if you're a musician or anybody, you've got to really listen carefully to your to yourself to your intuition to the people around you when you're going through pain or suffering nobody wants to deal with it but the pain goes away and the lessons you learn stick with you forever and being dropped from a record label just as i was beginning to get started i had a couple songs out and uh yeah we went to them with with the plan this is as i saw it i had been every night in order to go to sleep i would review the plan in my head song 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 album you know this is my plan it's gonna take six months and after that i'm gonna be where i want to be and we finally had the big meeting that i was nervous for told them the plan they said cool let us sit with that for a bit and two weeks later they came back and told me the plan was not happening and i was released from the record label uh august 2017 uh, and it was one of the low points for sure of my journey. And I remember the very same day I got a call from uh, someone very close to me. 
um, who said, I know you're, I know you're hurting right now, but I want to tell you that this is the best thing that could have happened to you. And, uh, it's really hard for me to hear at the time, but I, I can't tell you uh, the next day, I just was able to see more clearly where we went wrong and what I needed moving forward. And, uh, I had already been working on, on the song blood water for a couple months, but I just hadn't cracked it yet. It was just sitting there in my voice notes. Uh, like so many ideas kind of live and die before they get the light of day. But one day I just had nothing to do. And I just kind of went, I was like, I should revisit that idea. There's something in that. And, um, and we put that song out in October after wow. in August. And, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure the guy who dropped me has that job anymore. That's all. I <laughs> Good. And, you know, again, but it's just, that's me. <laughs> it, it was crazy because yeah. Um, I've, I've been broken up with, I've been dropped from record labels of everyone has dealt with tragedy or, or, or personal letdown in some way, but within you exists the capacity for that being a catalyst for something great. Because if I didn't make blood water, then that guy who made that decision, he would be vindicated. He would be right. And that story would be a sad story. And instead here we are four years later talking about it. And it's a happy story and it's a story of perseverance and, and, and a story about an underdog, but it wasn't that story until I put my pen to the page and wrote it. And if you're going through anything right now, I know we all are with coronavirus. Just remember within you exists, whether your story is a happy one or a sad one. That's what being dropped from a record label taught me. You, you know what? Wow. That's tremendous. You had two options, fight or flight exactly. and you fought. And here we are. And here uh, we are. And I can't tell you, I used to grow up listening to this records, this radio station. Like when I was having my, my Cheerios before my, my day at Northern secondary school, that was, that's, the, that's how I grew up. And so t- to be here now for number one record feels, feels pretty good. Well, listen, I, I have to extend an open invitation when all this is over for you to come back to the edge, uh, join us in the studio, hang Let's out. Let's go. Let's, Let's go. Let's this. go to the Raptors. We can sit in the Sprite zone. We can sit in the back. I'm not asking for court time. Let's the, go. Let's go. Let's play a game. Shout out to the Sprite zone. <laughs> we have to shout out the Sprite zone. That was a fantastic place. Uh, <laughs> can you tell that I've been looking forward to this? All the Toronto yes. random I, shows it. <laughs> uh, thank you for having me. And thank uh, you. Yeah hope when the weather gets nicer everybody can get back to normal life and i can come play some rock and roll shows where can people find your music what would what, what would you like them to listen to uh right at now grandson I, if you're listening to the edge pretty good chance you've heard my music by now but go find dirty if you want to every sunday i'm hanging on youtube with fans going live on my youtube channel at grandson and that's it. I don't need anything from you guys. I have more than I need. I'm just grateful for uh, for you guys supporting, and uh, hopefully you like the music if you if you give it a listen. Thank you so much, dude. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Thanks. Thanks again for real for having me, and uh, talk soon. <laughs>